did I like the new Sopranos movie, The Many Saints of Newark? Yeah, yeah, I did. In the end, I did. I, I don't know if they plan to make another series, and this was a pilot, if you will, for the series. I don't know if that will work, but uh, so the movie, without giving anything away. They, most of the movie, I will say, as I watched most of the movie, I felt disappointed because I really was looking forward to this. I big fan of The Sopranos, and when I saw this in the theater previews, I was excited. I rewatched the entire series of The Sopranos in anticipation of this movie coming out. If you're a fan, and like I am, if you're a Sopranos fan, that's why you want to see it. I would recommend rewatching the series if you have time for that, uh, because there were a lot of somewhat subtle things that you may not catch you know connections back to the series questions answered reliving and now in real time experiences that were only shown in flashback you know kind of memory dream form uh, there was there was some of that but okay i was disappointed i think because i didn't connect with the characters and that's not surprising. Um, in the end, I really liked it. And they closed out the movie with the opening theme song, which I thought was fantastic. So it wasn't until the nearly the end of the movie that I finally got it. And I was, I liked it. I was excited. I, I got a lot of enjoyment out of it. And I would like to see more. But... So, one of the keys to success for television series, these, what I call feature film quality television series, which for me, I think The Sopranos was the first one, uh, the first that really stood out. Prior to that, most television shows, they'd be okay, but you knew you were watching a television show. And when you went to the movies and saw a feature film, you knew that you saw the difference the difference in quality of production and storytelling and characters uh, way way better in the movie theater Sopranos changed all that Sopranos was that and, and it took it one step further what the advantage that you have with uh, something like a Sopranos is character development you can really instead of just two hours to develop characters, multiple characters, you have virtually unlimited time. So that's what I think keeps people... Stories are important, obviously. Plot lines, a little bit of action, suspense, whatever. But the thing that really makes a series bingeable is the characters. Characters that are complex. And, you know, The more you watch, the more you learn about them. And even though they're bad... You know, even though they're really bad people, that's what the Sopranos did. They were, you know, they created these likable, relatable characters, but then they did, like, really bad stuff. And you were, ooh. So, you know, it, it, that's entertainment for me. And <clears throat> so I really wasn't connecting with the characters. But that's, again, that's not surprising because... You come to it with this sort of Sopranos expectation, and nothing's going to live up to it. Uh, I think if you went back to your first time, first episode or two of The Sopranos that you watched, you were probably like, you weren't that invested in it. You weren't that connected to it. And these are all new characters. Um, I guess I expected it to be more about Tony, and you know, I don't, I didn't see a lot of acting out of Gandolfini's son. He was more of a AJ character, you know, the kid. You know, you saw flashes of what he was doing and what he was involved in. So the, the, it really didn't center around him. It seemed to center around just the history and where they, they came from. So maybe that's part of it. The expectation there was to be... And, and Gandolfini was the Sopranos. That character was you know, the whole show, really. 
I mean, the other guys, you know, great supporting at cast and things, but, I mean, without Gandolfini's character, there, there was no Sopranos. So, yeah, I can't think I came to it with that. And there was, there was, it wasn't there. It wasn't there at all. Um, they had some people playing Silvio, Pauly, and Pussy. <laughs> Didn't work for me. I mean, the Silvio character especially. Now, I think they knew this. I think because they kind of kept them, they downplayed them. They were sort of in the background. They weren't, you know, front and center. You know, there was no character development there. You saw, you know, Silvio's mannerisms. And, you know, I mean, uh, Pussy introduced himself as Pussy. But they they really were not significant characters in the film. So, you know, if they, if they created another series, will they develop that more? Maybe. I, I don't know. But for the movie, um, they weren't. You know, they were just sort of almost like bystanders. Uh, and and the Silvio character in particular, I mean, if you're familiar with the show, you know the mannerisms that uh, Stevie Van Zant had. He kind of mimicked those, and it sort of was, I don't know, kind of cartoonish. It, it just, it wasn't believable. Um, so, <sighs> some people said that the acting was over the top. I don't know, maybe. I mean. You know, I think, the pro again, I think the problem there was you didn't really connect with these characters because you could have said that about the other the other show as well. But, okay, so when did I start to like it? Well, some things happened, and I won't tell you what happened, but as you know, if you know The Sopranos, you would like characters, you would relate to characters in their struggle, but then they would do just really bad, bad things, and you would have a hard time liking them. Um, so some things were revealed and some things like that happened in the show, but it wasn't so much the new characters that, that they did that to turn you, made you cringe, made you kind of con super conflicted. They did it with the characters that you already know, the characters that from the original series. So it really was down to maybe the last 30 minutes or so and it all kind of came together and I felt like this is a Sopranos and it really felt like the Sopranos at that point to me um, it, it I mean it redeemed the whole thing I really want to go back and watch it again because again I think my uh, being underwhelmed for most of the movie was the expectation that I had and maybe I did some damage by rewatching the series before. I, I don't know. But I, I still would recommend it because unless you have a great memory for the finer details of, of something like that, some things are... Uh, there's connections to the series that you might miss. So I recommend it. I mean, it's on HBO Max if you have that. It's in the theaters. Um, you know, my expectations were way high. I was like anticipating this, kind of like some people, I guess, anticipate anticipated the Star Wars movies and things like that, and, uh, you know, it didn't meet that expectation. So then, my expectations were down. I was like, okay, this isn't all that good, I'm not really getting it, and then all of a sudden, you know, it won me back, probably maybe in the last 30 minutes or a little longer. Um, so, without giving anything away, I, I, if you're a Sopranos fan, I would definitely watch it. If you're not, it might actually be better. I, I don't know. I can't. I can't undo that and tell you what it's like to watch that movie without having the background. But um, I'm kind of excited if they do turn it into a series. I want to see if, uh, I forget his first name, but Gandolfini's son, if he can act. Because he didn't, I didn't really see that here. He was quiet. He hardly said anything. Um, you know, like I said, he was more of an AJ type character. So, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon.